As I mentioned earlier, there would have been a time when a performance like this would have driven Ronnie O'Sullivan almost over the edge with frustration, but now he's much more accepting of having the odd off day and making the odd mistake. He just gets on with it and competes for all he's worth. That's a measure of how much calmer and content he is with his life these days. And put snooker in better perspective. He has other things that he enjoys. There's an error. It's never easy, is it, Joe, with the spider because you're queuing down and you can often put unwanted side on the ball. Yeah, that's right, Philip. But he just had to drop it in. It didn't look that difficult, but you could tell that he didn't want to play the shot. It took a long time to decide. And all he had to do was drop it in dead weight. He was on the black. And he made a mountain out of a mole hill there. I didn't think it was that difficult. One. But he obviously didn't like it. Gave an interview ahead of this tournament, Ronnie O'Sullivan, when he was asked about his running, and of course he is a very talented runner. Seven. A good club standard. He's quick, as the Eurosport production staff will attest to, because they've had the misfortune to try and keep up with him some mornings before he's been doing his studio work or prepared for a match. And he actually said, it's not that I actually enjoy running, I enjoy the way it makes me feel. Fourteen. I think it helps him to handle his demons, which is an ongoing process. Of course, Steve Peters, revered sports psychiatrist, has been instrumental in helping O'Sullivan in that regard. But he still gets very irritated at the table by any distractions, whether it be movement in the crowd or, in this case, a mobile phone going off and it is incredibly annoying. Now, there's nothing worse the concentration and to hear that, especially when you're on the final backswing. Hasn't got the pace of the table still. Again, that's a little slow. Needs one of these reds on the cushion. To make the frame safe. So it's important it leaves an angle on this red. Fifth one. And one of the colours to get to that red behind the black. Fifth two. Deliberately left himself high. He can get to the red now. All of this the result of Tom Ford making a mess of his attempted pop with the spider. Missed it by quite a way. And oh, Sullivan's punished him. He struck that well, didn't he? At speed to stun the cue ball out. Only needed the red. Yes, the pressure was off, the frame was won, but it was still a very good shot. Yes, that keeps Tom Ford sat in his seat. 
It may have come out. Not now. Just signed during this break. Ronnie O'Sullivan is beginning to find his touch. To feel at home with the pace of this lightning fast table. 76. But again, Tom Ford left a rue, a missed opportunity. He had one in the second frame, which he didn't take. He had one in this one as well. He can't complain at the number of opportunities he's had, and yet, after three frames, he's going to be behind 2-1. 88. My watering 862 career centuries, way ahead of anyone else. And there is another one, the 39th of the season. That's also the best so far during this campaign. And Ronnie O'Sullivan, despite being below par by his standards, now leads 2-1.